from Daniel's time, we find the kingdoms of the world, which was Babylon, Medo Persia, Greece, and Rome. And it's in the time of Rome that Jesus was crucified, that he was buried, and that he rose again. But at the end of their Babylonian captivity, God said, Daniel, it will be upon your people, upon the city, and upon the temple. 70 times seven years. Why? They didn't keep the seven years of Sabbath and they didn't keep the year of Jubilee. Now for 70 years, they were going to Babylon. 70 means <laughs> four is the earth, three is God, and seven is three plus four. That means God is working with the earth times 10, which is the complete number. And still they didn't turn around because when Christ came, they didn't receive him. So the minute the Christ was crucified, the seals were open. And we've just seen that they are <laughs> the, the visions that was given to Daniel. So it's literally the history unfolding. And we see the four horses running. But now we can step right into the place where the sixth seal is open. And he says here, and I beheld, and he opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black, a sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. That was the heavenly elements that ruled the law world, the sun and the moon and the stars, um, was Israel. And he says, the stars of heaven fell to the earth, even as a fig tree causeth her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. Jesus cursed the fig tree. It was that system that they developed in Babylon. Now it's the cross and that whole system collapsed. But what they did, they held on to it. And now they brought the wrath of God and the day of vengeance right on them. And the minute, <laughs> the minute the sixth seal was open, that was the crucifixion. And he says, and the heaven departed as a scroll and it was rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. Mountains are <laughs> hills are rulers, great ones, islands are groups of people. The kings of the earth, the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and the bo every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves and said, mountains, rocks, fall on us, <laughs> hide us from the face of him that sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. Oh, my word. <laughs> he came as a lamb to the slaughter. And the devil thought he had him in derision. But <laughs> now the great one says, hide us from the wrath of the Lamb. They say, crucify him. Around Jerusalem, at the end, 66 AD, there were so many crosses, they said it was the most horrible sight ever because everyone that came out of Jerusalem was crucified. And the, the wild animals, the stench, the, they say it was the most horrid sight. But the minute Christ was crucified, and I want to say the sixth seal is the crucifixion. Just before the crucifixion, the fifth seal, the people had cried and said, how long? These are they that did not bow to the, key, to the image of the beast. They didn't bow to the worldly systems. And he says, it's long enough till the rest of you will come in. And that is what happened right up to 70 AD. And when the seventh seal was opened, there was like the trumpets were getting ready. Now, it's amazing. He said, when the seventh trumpet sounded, he said, the mysteries of God is now finished. The pattern of four and three, four and three, is constantly working through the whole system. When the old was removed, it started from Babylon. First, the four horses. Then the souls were getting prepared. And six is the the crucifixion, and seven, year they were actually sealed because of what's happening. And when the seventh seal was open, it started the seven 
trumpets blowing. Now, I want you to please go look at the seven trumpets. Everyone is a third, a third, a third, a third. It's like a third of the sea became blood, a third of the waters, a star of wormwood fell. It's not a star. Wormwood means bitterness. It's a bitter experience. And everything about, about the trumpets is three, three, three. Everything in the word <laughs> explains the word. You cannot interpret the word outside of the word. You apply the word with the spirit, but the word will <laughs> interpret itself. When the seventh angel poured out his vial in the air and there came a great voice in the temple and he said, it is done. But now look at this. He says, the great city was divided in three. <laughs> so every time a vial was poured or a trumpet blew, a third of the city fell. Now what happened inside Jerusalem, while uh, Rome was on the outside, inside, there were three zealot fighters. John of Gascala, Simon, and Eliezer was a priest. And they fought amongst each other. And when people didn't want to fight with him, they just killed everybody. Inside the city, the, the bodies were lying as high as the horses' bridles. They couldn't bury him, so pestilence and famine brought out. It was, it was just terrible. It was terrible, terrible, terrible. <laughs> Daniel describes it as a, a time of trouble and tribulation like has never been. And this is what John says when he started writing Revelation. I, your brother and companion <laughs> in tribulation and in the kingdom. The kingdom already came when Jesus rose from the grave. But it could never be entered because in um, Revelation 15, Revelation 15, 5, and after that I looked and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of testimony in heaven was opened. But the seven angels came out of the temple having seven plagues, clothed in pure and white linen, having their breasts girded with golden girdles. And one of the four bees gave unto the seven angels a golden vials full of the wrath of God who lives forever and ever. And the temple was filled with smoke of the glory of God and from its power. And no man was able to enter the temple till the seven plagues were poured out. Now, if you just turn around to Revelation 16, it starts with, And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying, <laughs> Pour out your ways, pour out your vials upon the, of the wrath of God upon the earth. So where did this voice come out? Out of the temple. So <laughs> the seals, the seals were upon the people. The trumpets were on the city. And the vials <laughs> were on the temple. It is like everything in the word is patterned. Everything in the word is predictable. Everything in the word is, that's why, you know, Revelation is not a book to fear. You know, Jesus came after all of this and he says, it is done. <laughs> it's over. It's completed. What was started on the cross, the minute, the minute, they crucified the Christ. The minute they crucified him, the revelation came of what happened from Babylon right up to it is done. And that is after 70 AD. <laughs> it is actually everything fits in. Everything is understandable. So every time a trumpet blew in the city, it was one of these fighters that <laughs> there was war and a third was damaged inside the city. From here on is 66 AD, because when the fourth trumpet blew, just before the fifth one, he said, now there's three woes. Woe, woe upon the earth. There's three woes. If you go back to Isaiah 6, 5, and you go back to Matthew 24, he said, woe unto you, scribes, Pharisees. Woe unto you, scribes, Pharisees. It was all prophesied in Isaiah, Jesus mentioned it, and here it came. The first woe, the second woe, and the third woe. Because he says here that 
<laughs> when Satan was thrown out of heaven in Revelation 12, he says, who woe unto the people of the earth? <laughs> because now Satan is going to go and he knows that he only has a short time and he went all out of it, for it, trying to stop the church from being born. But here we are. Know you not that you are the church, the body. You are the temple of Christ on the earth. And the whole book of Revelation, this is what he did for us so that the kingdom, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, come on, heaven tells us where it's from, God tells us to whom it belongs, is now our portion. Remember, it's no wonder he calls us a chosen generation, a peculiar people, because he did it all for us. And it is all done. On the cross, he said, it's finished. And when all was over, he said, it is done. Revelation is not a book to fear. It's a book to celebrate. Music